we're taking this case. Discrimination over gender identity? This was in the 70s. Put it on the calendar. Where? Find a place, Trevor. <sighs> oh, and don't forget to fill out the... The S11? Yes. On it. Thank you. Yes, sir. Kelsey would be happy to help. We understand your concerns and we'll start by sending you files of your paperwork right away to get started. I can assure you, Kelsey is the best in her field. It is her name after all. <laughs> Fields. Her last name is Fields? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, well, uh, let me mark you in the calendar. What did you say the date was? Can I help? You. It's Trent in the building. You already know what it is. It's opposite season, y'all. Run the verses. Hit it, y'all. Period. I'm out. Woo! We might not always see it. extended family, but we're still family. What would Uncle Anthony say? You mean your dad? Yeah, whatever. What would my dad say? Kelsey, you know, I not. Okay, let's get this straightened out. You were, one, in the plaintiff's house. Yes. Two, you were sleeping with his wife. No. You weren't sleeping with his wife? There was no sleeping involved. We were... Okay, you were fornicating with his wife. Yes. Three, he came home and assaulted you. Yes. Four, you then threw him out of a two-story window on top of an Aventador, a $400,000 car. No, he threw himself out the window. Explain. Okay. After I dodged his initial charge, he then proceeded to attempt to assault me by pushing me. Uh... What happened was he pushed himself back and uh, tripped over what I believe to be was a large size 12 shoe. Uh, and he ended up on the balcony, falling over the railing, breaking his own car, and pushing himself off the balcony. Can you help me? Uh, I'll see what I can do. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Quit cheating. Get better. When the teacher cheats, the student loses. Sound just like your day. Whatever, dude. 
Want a rematch? I got you. Ah. <laughs> hey, Sloan. It's heavy. I'm back. I'm just gonna grab some milk and I'll be on my way. Hey, Sloan, you're out of milk. Oh, never mind. sometimes. Uh, um, sorry, uh, I have to take this. You'll be okay. Thanks, friend. Hello? Yeah, you'll, you'll be fine. I'm sure we can find where the salon guy went. Nor rain, nor shine, nor heat, nor gloom. Shall keep the courageous couriers away from delivering Nor your fungus, nor broken leg, nor colon cancer. Or a dear, dear friend moving away shall keep the male man from his duty. That's the part they don't say. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll get out of your hair. You don't have to worry. You'll never see me again. Oh, man, you don't have to say that. Are you saying what I think you're saying? What do you think I'm saying? Okay, thanks, Frank. Oh, dude. Oh, I got the call back. Huh? That's awesome. What's the call back for? Thanks. I need your help. It would be my pleasure. I was talking to him. I'll help you, man. Oh, well, I'll get out of your head. But, uh, I'll see you gentlemen later. <laughs> What just happened? I think I just made a friend. Donuts. 
I'd like to introduce you to Monster Donuts, if I may. Great. Well, my name is Chef Vin. I'm one of the head bakers here in charge of Monster Donuts. And I'm proud to say that we're Monster Donuts because we're different. So as you can tell, what we like to do differently here at Monster Donuts is that we like to donut differently. And the way we do that is we mix it up with new delicious flavors daily. And because we offer well over 40 different flavors in our resume, we only display 13 to 15 of those at a time daily. And then we rotate them once a month, sometimes twice a month, depending on the season. So I actually have some seasonal donuts here for you today that can go over. One that I really love is our strawberry glaze pie donut. So this actually has fresh strawberries in the donut, so you can taste the flavor of the donut there. We also have this wonderful lemon cake donut that has a delicious lemon icing on top with a vanilla drizzle. It's one of my faves. You want to try one of these? Awesome, I can take care of that for you. Sure, not a problem. Hello? Yes, it's Diane. Yes, yes. I'm so, thank you so much. I'm so excited to be on the ACC. I have your done here. Cross that. You have a wonderful day. Thank you for coming to Monster Donuts. town just gets filthier and grimier. You read the paper, kid? Well, gee, I can't read so good, mister. Dude! Can you take this serious? I am taking this serious. I'm giving the character feeling. I'm being an actor. Can you do it normally? Yeah. This town just gets filthier and grimier. You read the paper, kid? Gee, I can't read so good, mister. Aw, oh, shucks. Why don't you give it a try? Today's headline. Sawback Slayer strikes again. Gee, who's that guy? Dude. What? This is my job. How do you want me to read it then? Like a normal person? Are you saying I'm not a person? You know what? Never mind. I gotta focus. Whoa! Well, no. Gee, mister! I can't read so good! Is that how you want me to read it? Come on! Who oh, that boy is so irritating, always questioning me. What do I look like? <laughs> Give me a G, double O, G, L, E. What does that spell? Why are you spelling Google? The Google thing, right? No. Why don't you just block Russell's ass already? I know. What do you think of cute, right? What cute got to do with it? Cute does not outweigh knowing. Trust me, I am divorced. All right. For a reason. Okay? And then you say he run through women like water through a faucet. And now I'm just saying, oh, bro, 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 Never mind, bro, bro, bro. dude, dude, it's okay. I need to focus. Come on, come on. Wasn't the Rocky Balboa? What happened? I'm just trying to help him out, that's all. Come on, come on. Did we miss something? I think we did, but anywho, what you doing this weekend? I was just going to be hanging out here with y'all. About that, I gotta meet China for lunch today. I'm already late and I just gotta get my bags. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just waiting for you to get back. Well, the house is always open, you know that. What in the open? I'm sorry. Full house, huh, guys? Hey, Josh. Oh. Hey, Josh, I'm here to get some milk and I'll head on my way. Uh, did y'all get a new roommate? I'm trying to figure out. Josh! What's up? Now, who was that? Who? The man who just walked in your kitchen to get a glass of milk. Oh, that? That's Henry. He delivers our mail and he likes milk. Huh? Yeah, that's the thing now. Okay, well, I'm about to get up out of here. See you later, Josh. Later. Bye, guys. See you later, friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm about to go see what Henry about, because, yeah, I'm about, I'm going mine. So he just does that. Come in, drink milk, and leave. Pretty much. The nerve of some people. Well, I'm just gonna wait until Chris get back. Dude, is everything okay? No, man, everything's not okay. Have you seen your sister? Has she said anything? I swear to God I didn't push him out the window, man. He pushed himself. It's not my fault. Yeah, no, this sounds incriminating. I'm out. Mark, context, man. Context. What, you mean like Contra? This isn't a game, Josh. This is my life. Josh. I'm not playing, Josh. Come on, man. Trevor, cancel. 
little yoga tonight and ride in Diana instead. And after that you can leave. Thanks for waiting, how may I help you? Hello there, I have an appointment at 11.45. Okay. Mr. Fox, I see you right in here. You can take a seat in there and then we'll call you as soon as we're ready. Thank you. Good morning. Are you checking in? Yes. At what time? Soon. I need something removed. Chris! <laughs> boy, you need to stop playing. You need something removed? Ugh, the imagery. Are you ready? Ready to drop dead just about? For lunch. I can't go now. Between one nurse, our janitor auditioning, me working triple shifts, and um, the line. Do you not see it? Do you need me to help you with something? Can you make three of me? Or let's just reschedule. Three of you, the world will implode. Yes, and if it lasts more than three hours, give our nurse a ring, okay? I don't want to hear that. Chris! <laughs> it is so good to see you! So How long has it been? Forever. How's your classes? How's the new clinic? Oh my. <laughs> yeah, I've missed you so much. And you know we need to book another <clears throat> book club meeting. Um, okay, <laughs> <That's> okay. <it. laughs> so everything's going good? Yeah, everything's good. Awesome. So when are you coming back? Huh? Chris, I need you. I finally fixed the clinic's budget. Instead of buying new boobs, we bought new equipment. Mm. Still can't fire Denise. But... The clinic is seeing more patients than ever. You know, I wish I could, but I'm busy with clinics at approved locations, and I only get one exception, and I don't think they'll give me another one. Hmm. Approved locations, huh? I'm sorry to interrupt. Doctor, the patient in room three has been waiting 30 minutes behind their scheduled appointment time. Right. Right. You're right. Trying to thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, love. If I could, I would. But I can't. So, let's just reschedule and tell Kavan to break his legs. Excuse me? Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll make sure. Tell him that. <laughs> Aside everything you did wrong in the situation, why would Kelsey call me before calling you? I don't know, man. Maybe she wanted you to be here when she breaks the bad news. That's just professional. She wouldn't do that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, here she is now. Exactly. Hello! Anthony, I've got good news and I've got bad news. Alright, what's the good news? Most of the charges have been dropped. Hell yeah! Nice. That's I'm good talking. news, bro. Is that Josh? You need to tell me if there's people there. Oh, yeah. Josh did it all the time. See what I mean? Hi, right, Kels. Okay, what's the bad news, then? Well, they tried and they tried, but whoever guys this wife that you're famous. He's famous. Huh? He knows people in some high places. They got you on leaving a crime scene. But if most of the charges were dropped, there is no crime scene to leave. This is America. This is bullshit. Okay, uh, so what do I gotta do? Settled on six months community service. Ha! No, I'm serious. Like, what do I really gotta do? I'm not kidding, Anthony. What am I supposed to do? Go pick up trash on the side of the road? Help old ladies across the street? Rebuild playgrounds? Playgrounds? It's not a bad idea. I was joking, Kelsey. We need to find something for you to do that's helping the community. What about, um, coaching football? How does that help? Well, the continuation school that's attached to my school is looking for volunteer coaches for the program. They use the park for practices. Yeah, that won't work. That might work. Oh, wait, really? I'll do that shit. <laughs> okay. Let me write something up and I'll see what the judge says. Reach out to the school. Okay. Mm. Hi. Cool, man. So, you can, like, introduce me to your people at school, then? Yeah. Don't you look lovely? Why, oh, thank you. I am loving yourself nice. Hungry? <laughs> I mean, all day. The table is already reserved. Nice! I like a woman that can keep a schedule. 
You're not making time for me. You seem like you have a lot on your plate. <laughs> Is that a food pun? Maybe. <laughs> Give a photo for Diana. Yeah, I got this audition. I nailed it. I know I got this part. I know I do. Kavan Weathers? Yes. You nervous? Who, me? <laughs> I'm not. Should I be? You look really familiar. Huh. So do you. Hmm. Anyway, come on in. Please, slave for the camera. Hello, my name is Kavan Weathers. I'll be reading for Detective Dr. Private Eye McGuy. I am 6'4", from Los Angeles, California. Thank you. Any questions before we begin? Uh, who will I be reading across from? Jay. Howdy. To my left. Whenever you're ready. <clears throat> Seems like this town just keeps getting filthier and grimier. You read the paper, kid? We may